the Aegis Gladius. So you keep hearing about these nerds around Crusader making like 80k every 15 minutes from shooting NPCs? Well it's true. If you have a grasp at flying and know how to push the H button when you hear missile beeping, then you are well on your way to making a living blowing up desyncing bots. Of course, it helps to bring the right tool to the job. A dedicated fighter will make your life as a bounty hunter much easier. May I present to you the Gladius, Aegis's light fighter. The Gladius is fitted with three size three weapons, a seat, some wings and some engines. This machine is designed with one thing in mind, to devastate the combat zone. This fighter flies the way it looks, incredibly. The Aegis Gladius is a darty fighter able to outmaneuver just about anything in the verse. He will do what is told when you tell him. The only limiting factor will be your capability to withstand the G-forces. Not everyone will be able to put, get the most out of this ship, but a good pilot with fast reaction times will be able to push this thing to 110%. You should be able to keep on the rear of your enemy without too much trouble. And if they turn on you, use your quick acceleration to disengage and re-engage with the enemy. With a top speed of 1,235 meters per second, you should definitely be able to keep a good distance between you and your enemy before you jump. For flight and handling, I give the Aegis Gladius an 8 out of 10. Uh, for practicality, it isn't. Seriously though, it's a cockpit with guns. It's not a pack mule. You're looking at the wrong ship. I give it a 1 out of 10 because it can transport you, so I suppose it has to get a point. The Gladius has three size 3 mounts fitted with two Panther repeaters and a Mantis Gatling, all fixed size 3. Paired with two size 1 shields, this fighter should be feared. Now if you're relatively new to Star Citizen, you might think that 3 size 3 weapons isn't a crazy amount of power, and size 1 shields are nothing to brag about either. However, light fighters are fast, zippy, small, and typically have a narrow profile. This all combined with Star Citizen's flight and weapon mechanics, you'll find it extremely difficult to take out a somewhat decent pilot zooming around in one of these space jets. The Gladius is a great tool for both PvP and NPC bounty hunting. Here is a customary clip of me completing a VHRT in the Aegis Gladius. Attention Crusader, this is Director Rust with an important update regarding possible hostile activities in the sector. We have received credible reports that outlaws may once again be planning a show of force. Crusader security is doing everything in our power to ensure the safe travel through the area. I will be posted if there are any new updates. Thank you. As you can see, the Gladius just requires you to keep moving and the bots will struggle to land many shots on you. Now being a light fighter, there are targets that are just too big and pump out too much DPS for those size 1 shields, such as the Hammerhead. Now it can be done, but it's much easier to bring the right tool for the job. So for combat, I give the Gladius an 8 out of 10. As foreshadowed by the name, the Gladius resembles that of a Roman short sword. Kind of. I personally am not impressed by the exterior looks of the Gladius. I don't like the backwards wing or the broad head. I understand it's probably meant to look like the Suko SU-47 fighter jet. However, I hate how that looks as well. Although this ship, without a doubt, has the coolest flight ready animation in the game. And I love the way the dash is presented. For style, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. The only reason it pushes above a 5 is because I have a bias to the fighters. As presented, the Aegis Gladius is clearly a dedicated combat ship, and it does what it was designed to do really well, and is a relatively affordable way to make the money in the verse, if you have the talent to match it. There isn't much more to say other than if you're considering getting a light fighter, don't get this ship. Get the Anvil Arrow. Catch the next video to hear my thoughts on why. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.